Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to assemble and review a Bayside mesh office chair. This one I got it from Costco. You can get it online as well. The assembly procedure is the same for all these chairs. I'll just quickly go through what parts are there. So there's that uh, feet with five rollers. There's eight bolts and they've given a nice uh, T-handle tool for the bolts, which is good instead of uh, a little Allen wrench. The bottom piece of the chair, the top piece of the chair, the frame with height adjustment as well as tilt adjustment, and a shock. So all of that is part of the bundle, and let's see how we can put this together. The first step is to make sure we put the roller wheels in the holes of the feet. All you have to do is put that in and press it down tight till you hear a click. And I've done all five of these. The next step is to install the shock. Make sure the side with the pin stays on top. You put the shock in the hole and press it a little bit down. You don't have to overdo it. The first time you sit on the chair, it'll auto seat. The next step is to take the bottom of the seat, put the front towards the left, and take the frame and put the front towards the left as well. Line up with the holes, and there are four shorty screws that go in those holes. Conveniently, we have a T-handle, so it goes a little faster than the usual Allen key they give. The next step is to put the bottom piece that we just assembled on a higher surface, whether it's on top of a box or a couch works just fine. And what we're going to do is take the top piece, this whole top piece, and attach it to the bottom piece, just like this. In this couch it fits perfectly, uh, keeps it in place so we can put the long four screws right there. Just like that, we got our screws in. One last screw. And the chair is almost done. All we need to do now is to connect the shock to the top up here. And we should be good to go. Make sure all the bolts are tight. The next step is to put these pieces that we assembled together. In order to do that, you take this and insert the shock in this hole. Nothing complicated, line it up and install it. One final step, you sit on the chair and the shock will seat itself. One final tip, if you feel like this angle is way too much, you are tipping uh, you can adjust uh, this particular knob to make sure that your tilt is correct. But at the same time, if it's still tilting and you can't figure out why, you may have installed this piece the wrong way. If this front was mounted on the back, the holes will still line up, but it'll feel like you're falling off from the front. Uh, just flip it around. Sometimes the stickers could be wrong as well. And there you have it, a fully assembled office chair. So just make sure you adjust the hand rest with this button and your height adjustment with this lever and your tilt adjustment with that spinning wheel. So once you adjust all that, you'll be comfy in here. If you like the video, please subscribe and I'll bring you more DIY projects.